I'm going to show you a plant that produces amazing spores that walk and jump. I am referring to horsetail plants, which are scientifically known as equisetum. Just like ferns, horsetails do not produce seeds. Instead, they produce spores in this beautiful structure called strobilus. I'm going to collect some horsetail spores on top of a glass slide to look at the spores under the microscope. This way, you will be able to see how these microscopic spores walk and jump. Each spore has four appendages called elaters. When the environment is dry, the elaters are tightly coiled, but when the environment is moist, the elaters absorb water and uncoil. This causes the spore to twist and turn, which makes a spore jump or walk away from the parent plant. In other words, the spore elaters act like springs which help to propel the spore forward. Imagine one day building tiny robots that move and jump on their own, just like these amazing spores. I'm gonna show you where I found these horse tails. Horse tails fascinate me because besides the fact that they are amazingly pretty, they are true living fossils. It is incredible to think that around 300 million years ago, in the Carboniferous period, horse tails were huge and very, very abundant. Interestingly, due to geological and environmental factors, horse tails and other plants that were also very abundant during the Carboniferous period did not decompose. Instead, the incredibly abundant dead organic matter generated by horse tails and these other plants fossilized in the form of coal. And this is how coal was formed and this is why coal is considered a fossil fuel. I am Dr. Bio Forever and this is Biology with a Spanish accent. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out my Instagram and TikTok for additional content. Hasta luego!